Hello everyone, my name is Vic of Use Market Biz, and in this video I am going to um, share with you the latest updates on preferredcurrency.news. Okay, so without further ado, let's um, begin. So this is uh, preferredcurrency.news subscription website where you subscribe for $15 a month or $180 a year to get notified of the latest updates on cryptocurrencies okay? so you can use fiat or crypto as payment on this subscription all right so okay let's go to the newsletter so this is the newsletter that the subscribers um, received some hours ago so the first that you're going to see are three are mean the are the three main topics or mean three main stories of the day so i'm going to read each and every one of them okay so the first one is Monero unsung crypto developer wins prestigious award all right so professor Joseph Slew received an award at the end of October 2018 from the Australian Commuter Society or ACS recognizing his recent achievements with the title ICT researcher of the day of the year rather Lu is the creator and developer a development leader of the ring signature algorithm, a crucial technology used in Monero, which he initially conceived of and published in a paper in 2004. According to a quote published on Liu's official website, he says that he is honored to receive the ICT Researcher of the Year award given by the Australian Commuter Society, or ACS, the largest professional body in Australia representing the ICT sector okay the, the XMR connection so Ring City as it is colloquially known has since become most famous due to its implementation within Monero the most well-known anonymity centric cryptocurrency elsewhere on his website Liu recalls discovering that his dis discovery had been applied within Monero without recognition. A googled application of linkable ring signature suddenly came up the word Monero. By then I know this cryptocurrency currently ranked number 10 deploys my PhD thesis. As their core technology, they call it ring CT. They didn't tell me, didn't acknowledge me and of course didn't give me any reward. At present, XMR is the 10th largest cryptocurrency with, it, with a 1.4 billion market cap. It has also featured regularly on the trade recommendation series at CCN, sister site hack.com, most recently on November 10th. So, Joseph Liu, Academia, and H. Cash. So, this is him. So, Joseph Liu, uh, Mo. Professor Liu is currently a senior lecturer at Monash University in Australia, uh, a role which will escalate to an associate professor position in January 2019. Liu has been performing roles in research and academia since 2004 with a wide portfolio of publications under his belt has already stated that he has put his role in the development of Monero Tech in the past and is now working on a crypto project called HCash. I have nothing affiliated to Monero. Currently, I am working towards a new cryptocurrency HCash instead. HCash hails itself as a parallel dual-chain ecosystem with post-quantum signature technology. It is comprised of three components, Hypercash, HCash, and HyperExchange. The former is the name of the titular dual chain, dual token network ecosystem. HCash is the name for the platform's decentralized and open source cross-platform cryptocurrency. While, uh, whilst the latter describes a cross-chain transactional exchange featuring an array of smart contracts. So HCash and regulation. So interestingly, HCash claims to be based on both China and Australia. This brings up a number of questions because Australia is considered a comparatively liberal economic regulator of cryptocurrency companies and ICOs. 
In fact, it has been recognized as having a comparatively rocketing growth of cryptocurrencies by the likes of Accenture. China, in contrast, has featured in the news widely due to the strict nature of its policies on cryptocurrency in general, so much that the number of cryptocurrency companies in the likes of Singapore completely overshadow those of its Asian counterpart due to its status as a crypto haven. The same goes for Hong Kong and Taiwan. All right. So about the awards in ACS. The ACS Digital Distribution Awards 2018 is the latest of an annual event recognizing the achievements of various individuals and organizations across the nation of Australia. According to its Facebook page, ACS is the Professional Association for Australia's Information and Communication Technology or ITC, ICT sector and was founded in January 1966. Recent accomplishments of note include joining the World Economic Forum in September 2018. A large team of judges presided over the ceremony, among the many prestigious names. Steve Gunby acted as chief judge who is better known for his current professional position as leader of IBM CIO team in Australia and for processing 35 years of international experience. Meanwhile, the chief data scientist for the NSW government and CEO of the NSW Data Analytics Center, Ian Opperman, served as deputy chief judge. Okay, so this is um, the main story, right? So let's proceed to the next one. So Aussie crypto startup Power Ledger brings P2P energy trading to largest US market. So news today sees the notable blockchain project Power Ledger launching its peer-to-peer -peer trading product for renewable energy. Power Ledger will launch with American PowerNet as their home base in Pennsylvania. So Power Ledger. Power Ledger is a blockchain-based solution for renewable and cost-effective energy. Power Ledger also has their own cryptocurrency, Power Token. So according to their website, Power Ledger envisions an economy, an economy where households that generate electricity can trade with their neighbor, neighbors and get a fair return on their investment, where electricity is stable, affordable, and available to so the announcements. So Business War published a press release today announcing that the launch of Power Ledger's peer-to-peer -peer renewable energy trading platform and licensed retail electric provider American PowerNet's headquarters in Wyoming, Pennsylvania. So American PowerNet is an independent power supply company providing retail and wholesale electric supply services throughout the United States stated on their website. They operate on the leading edge of the industry, which includes blockchain application. So the press release explains that American PowerNet will employ PowerLedger's X-Grid platform. This platform allows American PowerNet to swap solar energy absorbed from its buildings with nearby associated neighbors. This reduces carbon emissions as well as electrical cost. So, we're excited to announce the deployment of our P2P renewable energy trading platform in the largest U.S. wholesale electricity market alongside American PowerNet and CEBN. So, that was the tweet of Power Ledger. Okay, so, American PowerNet President Scott Helm stated in the press release, rather than just dump our excess solar power on the grid, we're thrilled we can now provide clean, sustainable power to our neighbors. This announcement is the beginning of Power Ledger's initiative in the PJM and Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Maryland interconnection. The PMJ is the largest U.S. wholesale electricity market reported business wire. So Power Ledger is partnered with the Clean um, Energy Blockchain Network or CBN which will help with the launch. According to the press release, the launch will occur this month. The operation will work with the current meters and data so that, so that further hardware, software, and effort is not necessary. Okay.
So where were we? So Helm elaborates on the operations potential, explaining um, how these measures can be utilized and applicable in any deregulated ter territory where a business site has excess solar generation. So making strides even in a mar bear market. 2018 has been a mostly bear market. Hundreds of ICOs have failed this year, but projects like Power Ledger continue to develop and move forward despite crypto asset price difficulties. Last month, CCN reported on Power Ledger winning Sir Richard Branson's ex Extreme Tech Challenge for XTC. CCN also followed Power Ledger's energy marketplace platform test run in Bangkok, which allowed for the sale and purchase of solar energy. Okay, so that was the second um, main story of the day. Okay, so the third story. The Cobalt Volt hardware wallet will outlive you. So the arms race between hardware wallet manufacturers is showing no signs of a baby. Every new device must be more secure, robust, and impregnable than its predecessor to claim the bragging rights and earn the shackles of the crypto rich, to whom nothing but the best will do. The Cabo Vault is the largest, I mean the latest hardware wallet clamoring to the best device of its kind in a post-apocalyptic society many years from now. So the year is 2040. And the last Bitcoin has just been mined. Thanks to the nuclear war, the population has been reduced to a few hundred thousand hardly souls. Bitcoin is the world's, world's um, global reserve currency. Only there isn't much word, world left to fight over. Just some scorched earth, cockroaches, and a handful of gunmetal gray objects jutting willfully from the soil. These are Kobo Balls, the last surviving hardware wallets in the galaxy. All right. So what's in the box wallet? Charger, hard case, um, mnemonic tablet, letters, screwdriver, charging cable, and instructions. Hyperbole aside, it's too early to tell how the Kobo Vault will fare in the longevity stakes. What can be said in the here and now is that uh, this is the lar largest and heaviest hardware wallet you are likely to own. The vault has many pro properties, but problem, um, portability isn't one. And like say, the cool wallet, the Kobo wallet is not designed to leave your st strong room or bank vault, which is a tougher ask than it might sound because the vault is the sort of device you want to show to all of your friends. Do not be seduced by the sleek metal casing and seduct seductively heavy touchscreen imploring you to Instagram this wallet. Those aesthetics are for you and you alone to admire. Good upsec in mindset, not in advice. Okay, so the Coma Vault is both water and puppet proof. So features and benefits. So if you are confident that you can resist the urge to shout your ownership of the Cobalt Vault from the rooftops, here is what you, ex you can expect from the $299 device, which will retail for $479 once full production starts. So air gaps with no Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC or USB capabilities, encryption chip with tailored firmware, that meets BIP 32, 39, and 44, supports BDC, ETH, BCH, Dash, LTC, ETC, TRX, and EOS plus ETH, TRX, and EOS tokens. So, um, military grade outer casing, built in self destruct mechanism to protect private keys, multiple signature capability. Multi coin and tokens with no storage or memory limit for coins, no physical points of attack, water resistant aerospace metal body, magnet magnetically detachable battery to avoid corrosion. So, a, so the Kobo website is replete with video footage of a vault being plunged into the water and presumably leaving to tell the tale. This protective case can also support that weight of a tank so we're told 
I wasn't brave enough to test my review device so in such a manner as it wasn't manufactured to final spec, but like the Kobo Volt, perhaps you're made of sterner stuff. So hands on with the Kobo Volt. The Volt is beautifully packaged with build quality, design and, and presentation that almost rivals Ledger. The experts of at delivering immaculately packaged wallets. Uh, this is the sort of HW that unboxing videos were made for. Small instruction card guides users through setup in between delivering stern metal warnings such as the security chip will self destruct if tampered with. Because the Kobo Vault app has yet to be made available on the Play Store or Google Play Store. I had to install it using the link provided, prompting all kinds of scary warnings from Android. Right. <laughs> Production versus, I mean, versions will direct users to the Play or App Stores, eliminating this hard, hastening step. After installing the app, you'll need to power up the Kobo Vault, which means removing the battery compartment and charging it using the separate dock. After powering up the vault, you're directed to a page on the Kobo website to scan in the QR code and verify the device. And after opting to create a new vault using the touchscreen device, it's time to note down your mnemonic. Heeding the on-screen warning to watch out for spying eyes or hidden cameras. Entering the 24-word seed is confusing as it is unclear that you're meant to hit return after typing each word um, there are still some elements of the combo world that can benefit from refinement starting with mnemonic confirmation um, pairing devices so once the seed has been recorded it's time for some more QR code scanning this time to pair the combo world with the mobile app and that's being completed the mobile app shows a per Functory wallet screen, BDC and ETH are the only coins supported in the latest version. But the full version was shipped with the support of all the coins listed earlier including BCH and Dash. This so the Cobo Vault mobile wallet. A feature which now comes as standard on many HWs the vault included is the ability to create a hidden vault. If the owner is forced to unlock their wallet under duress, they can reveal an address containing only a nominal amount of cryptocurrency and unlimited number of hidden vaults can be created with the Kobo vault, making it impossible for a physical attacker to tell if, I mean for certain, whether they're being shown the real wallet. To verify that everything's working correctly, I send a test BTC transaction to the vault and then send it to the different address using the vault to sign the transaction using a QR code scan. So physical assembly. With most hardware wallets, the review ends once the mobile wallet and device has have been paired, Bitcoin address created and test transaction sent. But with the Kobo Vault, the real fun begins when you prepare to pack the device away. The body and battery are separated and slid into separate compartments in the protective case. The case holds the entombed section snug without so much as a rattle, no matter how vigorously you shake the ensemble. Mm -hmm. One accessory that's yet to be covered in the review is the mnemonic template and letter block that enables you to encase your 24 word seed in a metal holder that looks as robust as a protective case for the vault itself. It would be nice if there was a means to easily separate the two halves of the tablet so that the seed could be stored in two separate locations. If you do decide to affix the letters into the tablet using the screwdriver and 282 letters provided, go ahead, but it might be wise to obfuscate one or more of the words. It might be wiser still to store your mnemonic tablet in a different location through a Cobo Vault. So the Cobo Vault is a solid piece of kit that's likely to play the metal of toughest in class, at least within the sensibility price wallet category. A few hundred bucks seems a reasonable outlay for a device that should, provided proper OPSEC is used, keep your cryptocurrency safe until time indefinite, or until you need to liquidate it at least. Um, the software could 
and will be better in places and the UX needs tidied up. Expect these niggles to have been resolved with it when the production version begins to ship. The Cobo Vault will outlive you. The sooner you come to terms with that, the sooner you can accept your own mortality and the mortality of Bitcoin. Okay, so that is the third main story of the day. So that were um, the three uh, main topics that you're going to first see when you receive your newsletter once you subscribe and then you have uh, different links here also okay and also um, is Donald of the Guru's research list so these are the top coins of the day so Bitcoin Gold, Blockport, Cardano, Ripple, Zilliqa, Bitcoin, Eos, Teller, Dabcoin and BitBay and there's a spreadsheet here okay so this is the Gar this is Don the Guru's um, research list. So what's inside the spreadsheet? So um, as you can see, on cell A1, the red have negative news, the orange tan are neutral, yellow are fair, green have good news, blue are showing the best news. So the blue ones are the best ones that should be included in your research list and or in your portfolio, as they are showing the best news. So. Aside from that, there's also a lot of technical analysis information on the right side of that. Okay, so you won't um, lack um, information regarding your coin. Okay, so guys, um, I think that's it. So if you want to um, also to earn crypto each month, you can become an affiliate at their affiliate program and you can earn affiliate commissions for seven levels deep by clicking affiliate by clicking this picture here or you can go directly to the website at preferredcurrency.news and click affiliate at the upper right corner of the website right so guys uh, as you can see there's a lot of links here and for you to access that you have to um, subscribe at preferredcurrency.news for $15 a month or $180 a year. Okay, guys. So I think that's it. So before I go, I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor. And everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto. So you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself, right? So this has been Vic bringing you the latest news on cryptocurrencies. And see you on the next video. Bye-bye.